I don't know if you remember Esther Baxter, the little vixen, the video vixen. She used to write me all the time, talking on the phone and, you know, writing in the letters and she was sending me pictures. So she told me, oh, I'm going to be in your boy's video next week and uh, I'm going to tell him about us. He just said some foul shit like, oh, why you write him? You could have anybody you want and you talking to a motherfucker in jail. And, and I was like, that motherfucker said that? And when I first talked to him, it was a whole different story, though. You know, cause he didn't have no bodyguards and, you know, he in the office with three or four dudes. He don't know who these dudes are. He don't know if, if they my boys or, or, or what he, what's going to happen to him. So he was a little shook. And, and I could tell uh, then I was a phone expert. I mean, I could talk to you on the phone. I could tell if you were sick, you know, uh, uh, by the tones of your voice. But anyway, I called my boy from Smooth Magazine, who was from New York. Like, man, you know this dude here, man, who know this dude? I need to talk to this dude. He said, man, he's gonna be in my office Monday. I'm gonna let you talk to him. So I called at nine. He didn't tell him who I was. He just handed him the phone. So he got on the phone. I said, hey, man, how you doing? And he was like, oh, I'm cool. Who is this? I said, this is Rick Ross. He said, oh, man, I love you, man. Uh, 